Hello, welcome to my channel. So, as you can see, I'm back on filming. As you noticed last week during the video, I had to do a little bit of voiceover and shorts and everything because I'm not 100% better, but a few days ago, um, not last week, but week before that, I started to sneeze a lot. My allergies acting up, was acting up really bad. The weather is completely changed now to a point where it is officially fall. My mind we acted to it, so I couldn't wasn't fully a hundred percent there to film. So the reason why you guys saw a lot of shorts. But today I am. My voice is not completely bad, but I feel kind of hundred, almost hundred percent. I'm not sneezing much, and my nose ain't running as much. So I'm gonna take a vitamin, laying down, getting better, and all that. Um, I just want to say first of all, thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I am really one way from having a hundred subscribers. I never thought when I saw this channel, which I sh I'm going to go get to make up, don't worry, it's going to come. I'm actually thinking about doing a video when I do get 100 subscribers, I'll at least talk about my journey becoming a YouTuber from Vandy till now, and how much it has really changed me and affected me a lot of ways, and you realize how much I love doing this, and how much I love talking to you guys, and how much support and subscribers that have stayed on my channel and watching my videos and not going away and sticking by me and giving me great encouragement and all that but that'll be another video but like I said I am back to do videos this is a very good one this is actually a try on some new drugstore to me um <clears throat> makeup that recently launched not that long ago I have some stuff that I'm really excited about I got some stuff that I got from ultra um my ipsy stuff that you guys will see in that um and a lot of different things that i'm just going to be doing a little first impression try on and everything so let's go ahead and get started first of all i'm going to put my gloss back on to your face um i have several lip products that i didn't show you guys but i showed you guys in a haul one was the slip oil from Wet Wild. it's very beautiful i've been trying this stuff on at work so i do know a little bit how I like it, don't like it, but this is a very thick oil. Um, Wet Wild is very, um, they're not known for oils, they're more known for like liquid lipsticks or lipstick of lip glosses and you know, things like that. So, this is the first time it actually came out with an oil, and this shade they have it in um, Marilot Glass. And I saw this at Walmart one day, and I'm like, ooh, it's new, and I'm trying it. I try Wet Wild stuff before, I really do like a lot of products. But lip oil was the first thing. So, this is a color right here. It's a very thick oil. And I'll go put this on my lips and show you the color. But I do have other ones that I am going to show you. So, yeah. So, this is the color right here. As you can see, it is true to color. And let me get a magnifying glass on my mirror so I know what the heck I'm doing. But this is a very like thick oil. It gives like that glossy feeling and everything. It's very beautiful. I really do like the color. It stays on for a long time. It's not sticky. It's not uncomfortable or anything like that. But you could definitely tell you have um. It, like I said, it's not really an oil. It's more thicker than that. So um. Yeah, I really do like it. It did stay on. I try this at work throughout the day. And it's a very light color. It's not as dark as it seems in the tube. It's very sheer, very light, very wearable and all that. So that's the first one. Then we have this one, which I try, which is the Neutrogena Hydrating Boost, Boost, Boost Lip Oil. Sorry, that's what it looks like. Um, this is really good. I do like to have a lot of acid. It's a very, like, light, it called light pink, so it's a very, like, sheer, um, oil. And this is basically a clear oil. It has the same Dove Arcade and the Wet Wild. This I actually do like, too. I've used this several times. This is a very good, um, it almost as thick, but a little bit more oily. Like, you could definitely feel the oils in this. And 
I think it's because of chloride acid and all of that. Like, it's supposed to be a very, um, caring, like, lip caring type product. And I really do like it. Not as much as I like the Wet Wild. The Wet Wild is, um, it says, apply alone, uh, clean lip as a top coat. So, I do like the Wet Wild more and a little bit less this a little bit less the color pretty it's like i said very clear very more thick very more oily and all that i will wear it and everything so yeah it's kind of not my favorite out of both these but my number one favorite one i love the most of course you guys know milani this is actually new shades from the front Rudis Fresh Line and Black Cherry Vanilla. I've tried several of those. Give me a moment. <coughs> As you can see, I'm not 100% <coughs> <coughs> better. Oh, allergies. I hate this. But yeah, I have tried it before. This is very good. This is my favorite lip oil of all time. I have several colors. This is a new one. It's called the Black Cherry Vanilla, and it smells amazingly. The color, again, is not as dark as the sea. And this right here is a true lip oil. It feels very light. It feels very comfortable. It does not got the thickness of the other two. It doesn't feel like it's really oily or anything like that. So these are the colors I got. I really do like them. Like I said, Milani always is my number one lip oil, and then we have the Wet Wild and the new Gina. I will be wearing these and everything. <laughs> Again, my full review, except for this one, like I said, I've already tried, so it's just a new shade, nothing new, but these two right here are new, and I'll be using more and giving you more depth. The good thing about this is that I do um, wear some stuff like this at work so it give me a great opportunity to see what wears long how i like it the feel and everything so yeah but the one thing i do want to try that's new is that the um ooga boogie um wet wall did come like they shouldn't with nightmare for christmas so they did a whole bunch of stuff they did lip oils they did a um <clears throat> changing this one went wild and they do they did a cheek and lip um color they did a changing lip oil which i'm going to put this on to see if it does change and it's supposed to give you a ph balance and it says kitsch lawn you know way these lips chicks especially you feeling no good lightweight comfortable cream falling less wearing into lips and cheek add to natural look so this is what they had, they had bags, they had eyeshadow, they had all different stuff, but I only got these two because I really feel like that, um, I'll use them more than I would any of the products. If I feel like that, I want to try the other products, because this is limited time, and this is around the time, Halloween and all that, but the shade that I got in this was Shock Value, so this is a lip cream and a blush i'm going to use at the end and see what i feel like on my lips but ooh, this is a very terracotta like red great for this time but yeah we'll see how this is when i knew my cheeks and then this one they had two different ones i decided to do this color and this is called the um Color Changing Lip Oil, and it said Trick or Treat, infused with pH active ingredients that most of the avocado and red oil. This lip shade color is a part skin contact, contact to create your lip perfect shade hue with a flowery sparkle. So, I'm going to put this on, we're going to put the rest of my makeup on, talk about the rest, and see if it does change, and see what it looks like. And then we're going to try this on my lips and cheeks lips at the very end and then the cheeks so let's see okay so this 
feels lighter, very lighter, much lighter than the Milani or the other two that I put on. So, it feels okay. Like I said, it does not feel as thick as the um, other lip oil from the Wet Wild. It's a little bit different. So we'll see. We'll see if it changes or uh, what color changes and all that. But let's go ahead and go into two primers that I am trying. First of all, NYX came out with this face glue grippy primer. It looked like a glue stick or a glue pump. This will bring me back in my childhood when I used to get glue because of class and elementary and all that. So this is kind of cute practicing. Then Milani came out with this one right here, which is Gazelle of Effect Splitting Boy Out Smooth Primer. Look like this. It actually comes with a little spatula, which I didn't know. So, yeah. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put one side on here, one side of this. It's supposed to be a sticky glue and makeup gripping primer and everything. So, we will see. Okay, hey, how do you do this? Oh, hey, right. so yeah, let's go ahead and put this here. I just want to see how it feels. So that will look like it feels cooling, but like it's going to be a lotion. I don't know. I'm going to do it on this side and see. And see how this feels on one side of my face. It's kind of hard to get out too because I feel like that it's like literally just it doesn't feel like it's tacky. Maybe I'm just gonna give it a little time to tack up and you know and all that. So. Like I said, I'll do one side with this primer and then the other side with the Milani one and see how each of them look. You know, it might be a glue, a grippy primer. I've tried a lot. I tried from Milk Makeup. I tried from Elf. Elf is a great one that I like. The Milk Makeup is good too, but this is like the first time using a NYX grippy primer. So we will see. Okay, the more you rub in, the more it starts to feel a little tacky. So maybe it will. So yeah, it started to feel a little bit tacky. So yeah, we will see how this lasts and everything. Because I'm going to try on um, the CoverGirl Invisible one that I tried on it before in another video. So, yeah. But, yeah, it feels, yeah, actually it feels like, think I will keep trying this by itself. Along with the Monolai one by itself. But for now, I just want to try both to see how it works. So, this one is a stay cool, dry place scoop. A uh, pea size amount in the primer and includes spatula and blade to skin with short outward strokes. <coughs> Sorry. Like I said, I'm not 100 sit back. This weather is killing me. So, yeah. Okay, so. This is what it looked like. This must be a poor boy. So I'm going to do it on this side. I have no primer. And this is what it looked like. I want to fill. I see. Ooh. Feels like jelly. Put a little bit on. Mm -hmm. Seems like it is a little blind. So we're going to take the little scoop. Like it says. And it says put a pea size amount. I don't know, that's pretty size, so, yeah. We're just going to do it like this, because I'm just going to 
I'm saying like that's a piece size. So we're gonna it says clean up spatula. So we're gonna do a little clean up. And we're gonna see if it does any blurring on this side of my face. The more I sit down, the more tacky. This feels very like smooth. So we will see if it does any blurring, if it's smooth, if it does what it says. Again, I'll try this out by itself once I have a chance to. And, okay. So, does it look there's a white cast at 80 like that? Because I thought it would be purple and all that. But, I can definitely tell the difference. Like, this side is very smoothing. It kind of looks very blurry. And this side looks very, like, hydrated and got a little tack to it. So, Again, we will see. So I'm just going to take this right here, my clean one. I'm going to use it. We will see. See how this glides over. And everything. So I will be trying this again, these two separate by itself. So just give it a try. And I think the PA is balanced. I mm -hmm. actually, yeah. It's a nice little pinky red. So, so I am definitely going to try both by itself and see how both performs. <coughs> okay, so now we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and do Casilla. So I did get the Pretty Smart Casilla. I did try the Pretty Smart Palette, Face Palette, um, the Primer, and other uh, stuff are Pretty Smart. I will do a review on everything that I try. Went on in a video again. I was feeling well, trying to get back to my normal routine. So it took a little bit longer to do all this. So give me time. But I did <clears throat> for the first time try the silver. Some of the stuff was good. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think I liked everything so far that I tried. And this is a new brand to Walmart, so I'm excited to try the rest. I was excited to try what I got. So this is in the shade what is it? Light Medium, which I think is going to be a little dark for me. Yeah, it is. This is more my shade, and this is way too light. This is more a foundation type for me, but as you can see, it's a little bit, you know. So I'm just going to use a sponge, and that I do like. I feel like that it is covering very good. I've heard that people love the place from like Scylla more than a lot of stuff that they tried. So... And actually, I do like that. I feel like it is coming out of my dark circles really good. I just have to get a lighter shade to lighten it up. But other than that, I really do like the coverage to this. It's very full coverage. Like, you could not only see my dark circles or anything like that. Okay, so I'm just going to put on the other eye. I'm just going to use my elf pink powder because I do want to try this blush slash lip product. So let me go ahead and I'm just going to use a brush to do this. And get one of my finger brushes, which is my little technique. And I'm just going to use this to, again, just to bright this up. Because I feel like that with this actually be my shade more of a foundation shade. I need something to really bright this up. So, again, I'm just using it to do a brightening effect. I really do like it. I really do. It, like I said, it's definitely coming up my dark circle big time. So, that's a plus. I just need to get a lighter shade because again, it looks good on camera, but it, I don't know. 
I'm going to have to definitely play with the shade and see if it actually is. But I do so far like the coverage. It's a very like full coverage type of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this right here. Now I did get this from Box Charm. It is the Alamont Viva Cheek. And it does have a cream and a powder. So look like this. I did try this before on camera. Again, that's when I was starting not feel well. I was about way to do all this unboxing to try on my itchy my box chunk stuff. But yeah, this right here, and this is basically a um cheek powder. So you have Creams and blush. So you got tap with the new base on your cheeks and wear alone. And then you can layer with the bright powder pop, make it look for a natural touch. So since I'm using this as a blush, I'm only not gonna be on I don't know, it's kind of red terracotta. I don't know, it'll mix good with this. So and I really don't want to have uneven cheeks. Um, let's go ahead and we'll use the bright pink to kind of tone down just in case it's too much. But I'm going to go ahead and use this and put some right here. This is a very like bright, deep shade. And I wanted that because I knew that this would be perfect for this time of the year so I'm going to put some on my brush and see what it look like I didn't put that much just to make sure that it looks good and wow that is a pretty pretty color Should like that. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. So I'm gonna put a dot on my cheek on the other side. This may be a bad idea, but never do you. So this will look like on that side. <laughs> yep. And we will see. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way. Holy moly. Okay. Yep. Deeper blush though. Um, I'm gonna use my one and I'm just gonna use this to stamp this all out. And it'll help you know blend everything. There we go. Now it's nice and not so bad. But a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so yeah. That is beautiful. I am going to put a little pink on top to combine it. But that is beautiful. That is definitely a great shade for fall. So, yeah. I think that's it for the creams. Yes, it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and powder the rest with this. Some of this will be short. So, I'm just going to go ahead. If that's for stuff that I'm not new, I just, that way I walked away about, you know, it be too long. But I am, like I said, going to use the peak. Before I do that, I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Um, my e.l.f. Prime Fuse Bronzer to give me a little depth and color. Now, now I'm kind of pounding you. And I'm going to bronze my butt up for this. Give me a little bronze. It won't be all ghosty. I really do like this bronzer. Okay, next. So we are going to use that. And then, of course, we're going to use the blush. So I'm going to put the pink on top and see what it looks like. Bites with it. 
and see. And I am going to use this part right here because it says kind of use this in the top up with the pink, but I'm just going to use the pink. And then I use these blushes for I do have another one. And we're just going to top it. Ooh, now that's a pretty combo. I do like that combo. I know it looks like I got a lot of blush, but you always use your powder brush and it will calm everything down. It will blend it seamlessly. So if you feel like you put too much blush on, then you can always use your powder brush. It looks like a miracle, like a charm, so don't forget that. Okay, next, let me get all this hair out of the way. Sorry, just one of those days where things are going insane. Okay, next, out of that, I actually did get the... Another thing for box shop, which I love, YSL, YC, not YSL, but YC Collection Eyeshadow Primer. Now, you guys know I love, 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 love this right here, the eyeshadow primer. So, I got eyeshadow to go along with it and all of that. So, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of this. I figured since I have the eyeshadow primer, I might want to use it with the creamy eyeshadow. So, do that. And lay this dry, and I'm going to put some highlighter on. I was going to use the air highlighter, but when I tried this on before, the one video that I did not put up, unfortunately, you guys will not see. Um, this is very glittery. I'm telling you right now, this is like kind of glitter heavy, heavy, and I really, really, really don't like that. So, I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this as a like inner corner or something like that because I don't want glitter everywhere. And I just don't like the fact that I got glitter particles in it. So I'm going to use this as like an inner corner, and I'm going to use a different highlight. Okay, so I'm going to quickly get this done, because I noticed that my other battery is going dead, the I mean going dead soon. So, I'm going to choose my Wonder Beauty, and everything, and everything I'm using will be down below, including the new products that I'm trying. So, make sure you check that all out. So, let's go ahead and get into this. This is something that I've been... I want to try you guys, like I said, I love the primer and all that. So this is going to be a very simple, easy look. Not really nothing huge or dramatic or anything like that. So I'm going to use just a flat brush. Put this all over the eye. See how it feels and everything. And this is a very beautiful, like pinky bronzy type of look and if this is as good as the eyeshadow primer I'll be extremely happy and oh my god that's so beautiful wow I'm spraying out like a dream holy moly that is beautiful. Wow. Okay, I'm going to give you a little swatch. But that's the color of, you guys can see right there. Damn. I think white C collection. <laughs> yeah, I think it is good. Okay, so I'm going to use a bigger brush and I'm just going to spread this out. Make it a little more even. And whoo, I'm liking that. Okay, so I'm going to use um, my bronzer that I use to <clears throat> just get a little more dimension in everything. Oh, it's stinging. For some awful reason, it's stinging. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like when it stinks. Okay. 
But I'm just going to put a little bit of blood in here. Just to give a little depth and everything. This would be good for one look eyeshadow. Great for when I go to work and everything. And oh my god. This is beautiful. It really is. Except I don't like the fact that it's stinging. I don't know why it's stinging. Okay, I am definitely got to see if I have a reaction towards this. Because this is not normal for a sting. I know the eyeshadow apartment does a sting. So, yeah. And this is called Kindness. So, I'm definitely going to have to... Um, See what the hell is going on and why it's like that. But I'm gonna use the sparkling shade, and I'm just gonna put that in the corner of my eye. And I will be weighing this, and I will see exactly why it's doing that. Cause, it, cause sometimes I do have reaction towards such stuff towards such products. And because of that, it's kind of like difficult. But I'm just going to use my Maybelline Express Brow that I've been trying out. I really do like this. Again, this is a deeper shade. This is like Mia Brown, a deep brown. Yeah. It's Mia Brown. So, I do like it. Except the only fact that I, would, I have to take the, like, the excess off. Because I feel like that if I... Don't do that. I'm going to have too much on my brow, which I hate. So, that's the only bad thing about it is that I have to take the excess off. But it does hold. Again, it's going to be part of my review. And part of um, my review on everything that I've tried. I will be doing that, so don't worry. It is going to be coming up. It was going to be coming up for um, September, but I'm going to do it for this month. When you guys see this, it will be October, so yeah. It's going to be in October, well, slash September review for the month. So, again, just watch out for that because, again, a lot of videos that I am literally catching up and need to catch up on because of my sickness and not sickness, but my allergies. And at least I hate allergy because allergy they kind of take up my time and put me down so badly. So, I love it. It's great. Sometimes I do take a little spoolie and I would use this to just comb out. But it does keep the brows on and stay for the longest time ever. So... But the, like I said, the only problem is that it gets a little too crumpy, a little too much. Like, it just <clears throat> looks okay, but yeah. So, okay, so last but not least, let's try the lip of this. Now we got it on the cheeks. So I'm going to take this lip oil. It's, I actually do like the color again. It's kind of like nudie pink in a way but yeah before I do that I'm going to set my face with this elf power grip wanted to give my face a little glow it looks a little well it looks glowy but yeah so I'm just going to give it a little squirt make sure you shake it up if you have this because you do have the oils and all that on the bottom and all that on the top, so you have to shake this up really good. Make sure you keep your mouth shut because if not, you'll put this in your mouth. Okay, we'll quickly fan this. And we'll do the, um, okay, so far the thing is kind of calmed down. I don't, kind of don't feel it. So, I'm just going to keep trying this on to see what happens. And then for mascara, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Wash and Roll. Really quick. 
And then again, lips will be the last thing for my battery go dead again. Yay! Again, I will try to step all in it later. Tell you guys my view and everything. So make sure you keep an eye on that. And make sure you keep watching my channel for reviews and everything. Because I, you know, I don't go as fast as a lot of YouTubers, and I don't do it as quick as a lot of YouTubers, uh, creators. Um, I like taking my time, and with me working, like I said, I only put a certain amount of makeup on. Like, I do eyes, lips, maybe brows, but that's as far as it goes, because like I said, you guys know where I work, I've talked about several times. It's not really a makeup appropriate, and it will all come off. You know why I work and why I did. You understand why I don't, you know, do all this. This is mainly because I only do this when I'm doing YouTube or when I'm filming or stuff like that. So, it takes me a little bit long to try to step out, use and everything, but let's go ahead. I'm going to try this as a lip product also. I think it would be beautiful and match a lot of what's going on. Especially with the cheeks. <coughs> and then I'm just going to tell you my favorite products at the end again for my battery go dead. And we will see. This is so perfect fall. I'm telling you right now. Definitely a lip liner, but wow, that is pretty. It's almost like a pouting lip. Mm. I'm going to let that dry. Definitely let that dry. But let me go ahead and go over everything that I like and enjoy. For, like I said, my bag will completely be dead. But this is my full face using some new drugstore makeup products. You guys check the video out make sure you guys keep in touch subscribe to my channel like I said I am one more subscriber having 100 subscribers so I'm getting there slowly but surely and if I do get 100 like I said before I'm gonna have you guys um, make comments ask me questions and then we can do a little get ready all that my first get Q&A first time answering questions from you guys so make sure you guys keep the comments coming, make sure you keep subscribing, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you hit the notification bell, make sure you do all that. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are the reason why I do this. And now I'm really enjoying doing this and <laughs> it's crazy. After three years, it's crazy. So I love you guys. Love you all. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all that. And you guys are amazing. Keep on doing what you're doing. I hope you guys have a lovely day or night. Everything will be down below. The Ultra website will be down below. Um, all that, why I got all this stuff. Most of this stuff, I should say. So, yeah, and everything on my face will be down below. Till then, have a lovely day or night, and I will see you guys later. Bye. And, aka, happy fall. We'll do it. Bye.